Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Elias, and welcome back to Project Ozone 2. In the last episode, we made the Tier 5 rocket, which I believe should be sitting right in here. Yeah, the Tier 5 rocket, and we went to Saturn. Uh, so, we have some stuff to do at Saturn. Um, I spent a little bit of time between episodes uh, just trying to search for uh, the... Uh, the dungeon and I found one um, you guys are gonna like this one because of how I found it um, still working on seeds don't know how long this is gonna take to go do the Saturn stuff uh, but honestly once we get done with Saturn we're gonna come back and we're gonna make more seeds so let's get going um, and then I will spend time between episodes trying to get all of the uh, other stuff taken care of so Let's go ahead and place down our digital miner. While we go and work, we can set this guy up. So I want to make sure... Good. Um, bump up the radii and the max number and it will start getting a lot more. So we're going to get a ton of magnesium. Uh, 400, almost 500 magnesium. And we're just going to take whatever we get by the time we get back. So. Um, right over this way, it's not that far away, uh, and I did verify that it is, in fact, a dungeon. Uh, it's going to be a little bit challenging to get into it, unfortunately, but um, it shouldn't be too bad. So, yeah, this planet is weird. Um, I've noticed a couple things about it. It seems, so the planets have different, like, spawn conditions for a lot of mobs. Um, that is something that we've kind of known. Uh, for example, the hot planets have uh, magma slimes and blazes and that kind of stuff. Uh, but this planet seems to only want to spawn spiders and zombies, which is fine by me. Um, no creepers means it'll be a lot easier. Uh, the only thing we have to worry about is spawners. And, well, getting to the dungeon, we will we'll encounter spawners. But anyways, here's the dungeon. Uh, and it's really kind of interesting how I found it. Um, so right there, you see it? You see the little massive hole in the earth, uh, nice and square, and the, the textures are weird. Um, so that's where the dungeon is. I was looking around, um, there's another waypoint nearby, uh, and I was just looking around type of thing, just searching, and I noticed it, and it was like, oh, hey, there, there's a dungeon there. Um, so there are spiders and stuff, let's... Clear out the guys around it so that we can actually get down here. And I didn't dig all the way down to it, um, but pretty close. But yeah, you can hear all of the, the liquid. Uh, let's make a little bit of a backwards escape. Because, yeah, that's going to be the issue. Um, so hopefully this is a full-fledged dungeon. I find it interesting that the, uh, what is this stuff again? Uh, it's like liquid glowstone. It doesn't actually light anything up. But I can already see where the, uh, the end of the dungeon is. And, oh, of course it goes this way. So we're just going to go around this dungeon, um, picking up all of the stuff, uh, just so that we can avoid the hydrocarbon stuff. It's, uh, I believe it's liquid glowstone. Alright, pop down, nothing here. Let's just wall that off so we don't go back that way. And zombies are easy enough to take care of. Wither skeletons and spiders are also pretty simple. And I guess that is just a uh, skeleton spawner. I, we got lucky with the wither. So let's just pick up everything, like we do. And... Hope for no creeper spawners. 
Spiders. Spiders. I can deal with spiders. Spiders are easy enough. Um, we're going to have so many spawners by the end of this. And honestly, I don't foresee us using too many of them. And there's a creeper. Uh, so I know it's been a while since we've really encountered one. But there are John Cena creepers in this mod pack. Uh, which are basically terrible. Um, they're creepers that cause massive explosions, and we've died to one before. Uh, and I don't want to do that again. So let's dump some stuff in here. The burnt out torches I despise. Everything else is fine. Let's go ahead and organize that. Alright, so we only have 18 more glowstone torches, um, which is fine. Uh, we will we'll manage. Again, creepers are the worst enemy. Uh, everything else doesn't really matter. And I have no idea what the boss is going to be. But, um, there is no boss here. Really? Okay, so I see, I see some darkness here. Uh, let's make sure we eat. And, yeah, there is no boss here. Um, well, to put it, to put it nicely, that's terrible. Uh, so, what do we do? There's got to be something that we can do. Um, so, the, the problem is we need the key. And I don't believe there's any way whatsoever to make the keys. Uh, tier 6 keys, yeah, we can't make the keys at all. Um, we can't break these or anything like that. So the fact that there's no boss here means this dungeon is completely and utterly useless. So that means I need to go find another one, uh, which is a bummer. Oh wow, we are starving. Um, and we get to go through another dungeon. Now before we do, just want to make sure, okay. Let's go ahead and get back out of here. Uh, so yeah, that was, that was a waste of time. Um, alrighty then, so I get to go find another dungeon, so I'm going to explore around for a little bit and hopefully find another dungeon, and then we can come back and hopefully get the treasure. So yeah, I'll be right back. Alrighty then, that didn't take too long. Um, so this is where we were, I just kind of flew across the big sea and found another, once again... Um, covered in the liquid glowstone. Uh, but I found another. So let's kill these guys. Uh, and these guys have just spawned again. Um, we are running out of torches, which is probably something I should have went back for. But, um, let's get some cobblestone out. And we're going to dig straight down until hopefully we find something. Um, so a neat little trick you can do. And I guess let's just dig this way now. Uh, so yeah, we're going to have to be careful with our torch supply. Um, probably should have went back and bought more. But as you see, it's a good ways away. Um, so I guess let's just continue digging down. There we go. 
And this time we're just gonna fly around. Let's block this off. And please let me get in there. There we go. Alright, so... Hey, I got a meteoric iron from something. Cool. Um, I don't know that we can get any sort of, like, uh, torches from, uh, the, the stuff. Hello, Mr. Creeper. Creepers are the concern. Again. Huh, you just spawned a normal wither skeleton. That's not too smart. Alright, so, uh, ooh, lag spike. Why are we getting lag spikes? Uh, computer, there you go. That could have been really bad. Alright, so we don't have many torches. That is not a good thing. <laughs> Um, we need to go that way. Yeah, what is going on with my FPS? I don't actually understand. So let's break spawners. Um, another zombie spawner. That's fine. Uh, and it seems like there's like a cave underneath here, so that's good for us. The spawners will spawn more underneath there. Uh, anything good? Jagged fl uh, uh, flint broadsword, that's something new. Um, what is going on? There is a ton of entities. I wonder if that's got something to do with it. Anyways, uh, more loot boxes and loot bags, all that kind of fun stuff. And more spawners. Stay very far away from the creeper spawner. Let's light it up. Break that spawner. And I believe we're actually going to get a uh, a boss this time. Uh, at least it would appear that way. Okay, I just got an oxygen vent. What? Okay, I'm getting some weird stuff. That is okay by me, I guess. Uh, so... That's a hole. Oops. Uh, let's just fill that in. And... Uh, can we get glowstone from loot bags? Does it actually tell me? Uh, let's see. Doesn't look like it. That is a shame. Alright, let's go back a little bit because we are out of torches. I'm not too concerned about like most of the hallways because all we've really encountered is spiders and zombies. But the the spawners are the concern. Oh my god. Please. Anyways, in just a second, we should see the boss room, and yeah, what again? Seriously, game. Okay, now I'm upset. Um, take a look at journey map. Um, there's gotta be so that no, there is no boss room here. What is going on with this? Okay, so, first of all, we can go ahead and get some glowstone. Uh, at the very least, this will let us light things up. Uh, if I had some wood, we could make torches. I might, you know what, let's, 
I'm going to head back to base. Uh, I'm going to restock on torches. I'm going to find an actual boss room this time and not just another dungeon. And maybe even look up why this is happening because it's really annoying. Uh, this is the second one we found that doesn't have a boss. Uh, also, this stuff is completely harmless, so let's just go up through it. Um, I really should start doing that instead. But anyways, I will be back in just a little bit. That is really oh cool. You kind of see the there's ice and water underneath. Uh, the ice melts into water, and it's really kind of interesting. But uh, I'm gonna head back and. Uh, we will continue again once I find a boss. So, be right back. Alrighty then. So, that took uh, a couple more tries, actually. So, I went to one more, there was nothing, and then this one finally had something. So, let's see what the boss is, and let's go ahead and kill the boss. Um, a little bit concerned about this. It's a giant gas, and it's dead. Cool, we actually needed the gas here, so that's nice. So advanced gas was the boss to kill. And I have no idea what it would have done, but hey, it's dead. Who cares? Um, so here is the treasure. Let's open it up. And we get the tier 6 rocket. Awesome. We don't have to do any more Saturn other than uh, magnesium and that kind of stuff. So... With that, let's get out of here. I'll show you how far we had to go. Uh, and then go home and, well, we'll find some stuff to do. So, um, that was kind of terrible, to be honest. Uh, trying to deal with getting all these guys. Um, these guys are really, really fast. Um, and unfortunately... Things are not going to get easier until we stop killing bosses, which is not going to happen for a little bit. But anyway, so this is where I was. Um, I made a little bit of a mistake, so there's another one over there. Uh, but yeah, I made a little bit of a mistake, so I went back and I made a bunch of more torches, uh, the glowstone torches. But unfortunately, I forgot to fill up on oxygen, so we're kind of low on oxygen. We have half a tank of one of our tanks left so that's not very good but we'll be fine we'll get it back um i don't know what is up with the terrain generation on this planet but i i don't think this is supposed to be here i believe this is supposed to be on one of saturn's moons callisto but it seems to be here anyways so i don't know it doesn't matter to me really um worst case scenario if i couldn't have find if i couldn't have found who the boss was um i would have spawned in the key um, if we didn't get the schematic, what I probably would have done is spawn in another boss. Um, and then they'll drop the key and just go to one of the other dungeons that we found and call it a day. Um, so I need to correct myself. Earlier I said this was, uh, liquid glowstone. It's actually liquid magma. Uh, still doesn't have a texture for this mod pack, which is whatever. Don't really care. There's quite a few of those in here. Um, especially with the, the planets. And then the other thing I want to mention is, uh, a long time ago, the dungeons were all the same. That was a weird lag spike. Uh, the dungeons on all the planets were on the same location. That is no longer true, um, as we've kind of experienced. So, yeah, we can't just kind of go to the same locations every time. But, honestly, it's not too bad. There's only a couple more planets. The next one is going to be the most difficult one to deal with. Um, Neptune. But I believe Neptune, we can stop for a little bit at that point. Is it Neptune next or is it Uranus? I don't know. Anyways, we're almost home. And for the rest of today's episode, I think what I want to do is make more, uh, seeds to start tin tin tinning and... Maybe do some other questing type stuff. I don't know. We'll find stuff to do. But anyways, come on. Should be basically there. <sighs> yeah, so that was that was a struggle. But we do have quite a bit of magnesium in our miner, which is nice. Uh, let's see how much we had. We had 
almost two stacks when I went on our adventure again. Uh, so not much more. Let's go ahead and kill the power to it. And if we need more, we can get more. Do we have the digital miner? Alright, let's go home. So as as we go, um, anytime we need more of any supplies, we can use the digital miner. And that's that's exactly what we'll do. So first things first, let's make sure we get the quest taken care of. Um so Iota. Tier 6 rocket, we have the schematic. Perfect. Um, so I guess we'll set this in here. Uh, we'll throw this stuff in here to be processed later. Uh, all this stuff can be thrown in there. Uh, I do want that gas tier though. Uh, probably should have killed it with our sword because we have so much more uh, looting on our sword. We would have got a lot more stuff, but oh well. Plug this back in, let it power back up. Let's see what else do we need to do? Need to grab all of this stuff. That stuff in there. We're going to dump everything into the AE system and then uh, get to work. So with Saturn taken care of, we can actually start working on uh, the next rocket, the tier 6 rocket, which we'll, I, like I said before, we'll do that. Um, maybe make it next time. Uh, I want to kind of get done with all of the extra planet stuff just because honestly it's time for us to kind of move on from that and I want to make the Master Infusion Stone. We are getting close to the point of this mod pack where we can start making um, the really powerful stuff uh, and yeah tier 6 rocket uh, let's see tier 6 rocket it's going to require a lot of heavy duty plates which requires compressed magnesium it's the same basic thing um, but yeah we're, we're going to want to get through all the planets uh, and once we're done with that uh, we probably won't need to do much else uh, I want to get to at least planet 8 um, Neptune has access to what is it? It's the blue gems. Uh, and blue gems are required in order to make uh, something that we need. And that's it. Draconic cores. Draconic cores allow us to get other things. Um, and... The biggest thing with that, we're going to want to get, uh, where is it? We need the extreme crafting table, so, uh, which is the dire crafting table. Uh, and that requires awakened cores. So we need to do a lot of blue gem. We need a lot of blue gems in order to get that. So, um, yeah, that's kind of the plan. Once we get to tier, once we get to Neptune, uh, we can kind of take a break on killing bosses, uh, but then we need to go and kill the guy guardian a couple times and get the rest of the stuff we need for the uh, the thing, the what's it called, the the master infusion stone. So I put the gas tier in here, didn't I? We have gas tiers. We have four gas tiers. We need to start growing gas tiers. So let's make some gas seeds. Uh, so I want to make more and more seeds. I think that's what we're going to do for the rest of the episode, is try to make as many seeds as we possibly can. And somewhere, it's probably in this chest. It's been a while since I've picked it up. There's our clipboard. Alright, so, and we should probably put our 40 levels away. Perfect. Alright, so gas is the next one on the list. We're going to need Imperial Essence. Uh, let's pop down here and get a good bit of that. Uh, and we have plenty of mana. Probably should stock those back up. Let's grab some 
Uh, blacker lotuses. That should be plenty. And we're just going to restock to this guy because, well, he needs it. And same with this guy. And those guys are fine for right now. So let's just put these in here. We have so much Batania stuff. It's kind of nice. Uh, and we need to grab our seeds. So first things first. One, two, three, four. Okay, one went on there. Those and that. Um, then we need our wand and plenty of living rock. Probably should make some more living rock as well. How much stone do we have? Plenty. Okay. And then we need our wand, which is probably not in there. Where is our wand? Um, right there it is. So let's place these guys down first. And then we will make all the seeds we can. Um, so there's plenty of seeds to be made. Uh, still a lot of like metals and stuff that I haven't really worked on. But we'll get there. Um, there's plenty of stuff to do. So there is the gas seeds. Those are taken care of. And just to make sure everything beforehand is done. So next we need aluminum, copper, lead, and nickel. So let's get those going. Aluminum. Uh, seeds. What are they called? Uh, or did I just misspell aluminum? Probably misspelled aluminum. Uh, let's see, right there, alumin, yeah, aluminium seeds, uh, as I believe it's pronounced in Britain. Uh, so we need that stuff, okay. Copper, lead, and nickel. Copper seeds, lead seeds, nickel seeds. All right, so these are the next four. Uh, so... We need dents and the other seeds for all of them. Okay, so this is going to be the problem. Uh, and let's also let's go ahead and make more living rock. Because why not? And one of these days I might automate this. I don't know if we'll need to. We'll kind of play that by ear. If it's obvious that we need to automate that kind of stuff, then we will. Otherwise, who cares? Okay, so... Let's see, Lavender... We have none of those seeds. Which means we get to do more farming. Uh, so let's grab... Do we have a... Matic in here? No. All right, let's just grab some more dirt. Uh, so dirt. Uh, we're going to want water bucket. Uh, we have plenty of buckets. That's not an issue. And we're going to want our matic. Should be in here. Or not. Um, let's grab a matic. There we go. Uh, and then we get to figure out what we want to do. So aluminum seeds require seeds and feranium. And they are made, they need aluminum ore underneath. So do we still have ore sitting over here? We do. But those are all nether ores. That's fine. Uh, so ore... Uh, we're going to need iron ore. Let's see, we can put the gas tiers back. Or the gas seeds back, rather. Um, we're going to need crop sticks. Let's grab two of these. I've been sawing up a bunch of logs. Uh, once again, because, well, I need the wood. Alright, so... 
crop sticks. Let's kind of fly over here and honestly, let's pick that up. Make sure there's no darkness anywhere. And let's go ahead and pick that up. All right, so we're gonna need iron. Let's do it right here. Dirt, dirt, dirt. And I guess right here, actually no. Uh, let's do something right here to do the water. Perfect. All right, let's throw those away. And we don't need the bucket anymore. So we need for aluminum, we need aluminum ore, one, um, iron and normal seeds. Okay. So that's something we can handle. So do we have aluminum ore? No. So we'll need to go get aluminum ore from the mining dimension before we can really do too much with this. But uh, iron and normal seeds should not be a problem. We have normal seeds over yonder. Uh, what do we have in here? Cactus, okay. All those, which are stored and all that fun stuff. Um, so we have some normal seeds. We haven't 10, 10, 10 the wheat seeds yet, but it doesn't really matter. So there we go. Uh, so that's aluminum. Copper requires redstone and red tulip. So redstone and red tulip. And we'll put those off of the other side. So we need more ores. So redstone ore we do not have. Copper ore we do not have. What kind of ores do we have? We have coal, diamond, emerald, iron. Not really that many. Um, but copper ore, can we use that? to get normal ore. No. Uh, do we have any redstone ore? Not that I'm really seeing. Okay, let's just head to the mining dimension. Let's go get some ores. Um, and we'll get, we'll get them all taken care of. Uh, this will not be too difficult to do. Just a matter of going down into our little mine, which I just saw got turned around a little bit. So there's copper ore. Let's turn on our magnet. Because uh, I don't plan on like mining up a bunch of stuff. Uh, redstone ore. Uh, 10, let's see, what does lead require? Lead requires iron and potatoes, so we'll be fine with that. And nickel requires gold and dandelions, so we need gold as well as these other ones. Um, that probably will work. Aluminum. There's some lead. There's some gold. That's titanium ore. Uh, so, let's see. Aluminum, we have aluminum ore now. Um, just requires some sort of aluminum ore, I'm sure. We'll work copper, needs redstone and copper. We have those. And then lead requires lead and iron. We have those and the nickel. Right, we still need to get some nickel. Uh, which should not be super difficult to find. One would think anyways. Um, but I'm not seeing any. Hey, some dense aluminum. Just grab a bunch of the, oh, nope, that's salt. Uh, that's close though. There's some nickel. Ferrous ore. Same thing. Uh, so let's 
get out of here and get these guys going. Um, and you know what? Let's do something kind of weird. Uh, so if you put a little backstop like that, it makes it a lot easier to get out of a one by one hole. And all those items still have not despawned, uh, despawned rather. All right, so now we get to just fly up here and get some more stuff going. So uh, the first one is for the aluminum ore. Uh, let's go ahead and start putting some of the stuff in here. So aluminum, there's aluminum ore. Now we need more dense aluminum. We need four dense aluminum, uh, which is five each. So we'll probably have to go get more. But let's get these plants going first. Uh, so copper is again redstone and red tulips. So redstone, copper, dirt everywhere else. Let's see, let's get these guys on the bar. All right, so. Red tulips, redstone, perfect. Um, lead is iron and potatoes. So we'll just go off of this. And again, we need potatoes. Potato seeds, I should have, yeah, there we go. Potato seeds. And then nickel is gold and dandelion. So we'll go this way. Gold, nickel. And we'll get the dandelion seeds as well as gold, which we should have, yeah. So gold, dandelions. Perfect, so I will let these guys grow and get the kind of intermediate products that we need. Uh, so what all do we have in here? Do we have, okay, we have lead. So we should be able to get the compressed lead. We need four of those dense lead ores. Um, smelting this stuff. This is just normal. So the uses for this is Smelting gives you two ores, and that's what we want to do. All right, so we'll smelt all this, and we need 20 ore. Um, that's not too bad. Let's see, what else do we have? Do we have any ferrous? We do. Uh, and again, smelting is what you want to do with it. So just throw that in there. Uh, I'm going to throw gold ore away, redstone ore, and just focus on these four. Alright, do we have any aluminum or copper? That's the only ones left to deal with. I really wish, can we use this for compressed ores. I don't think we can. Doesn't look like it. Okay, so we'll just throw that into the system. Tungsten, lapis. Any ore that isn't uh, nether should probably go into the system like so. Okay, so let's grab all this and let's compress as much as we possibly can. So one, two, three, four, or at least up until what we need. So there's 20 of those. Or rather, let's see, one, two, three. Uh, one, two, three. All right, cool. So the aluminum is not compressing. So I have a funny feeling that we're going to fail with the aluminum. Is it just four that we need? Yes, okay. 
So let's come back up here and we'll see what happens. Can we use this? Okay, we can use it part of the runic altar, but can we use this stuff to get anything else? No, we can't really do anything with it. Okay, so how do we get the dense ore? Um, we need the Tinker's Construct, which requires the combiner. Okay, I think we can handle that. Um, so let's let's deal with that. So dense ferrous, dense lead. Um, we'll go get the rest of it here in a little bit. Uh, I'll probably do that off camera, to be honest. And let's deal with this aluminum situation. So can we grind up the aluminum? Certainly. Um, and then what we can do is can we use that we certainly can with the combiner and some of this other stuff so we're also gonna get some tin uh honestly we'll just cook that up and call that one a day so what we can do is we have a combiner we actually made one uh, i believe it's this machine right here no richmond chamber uh, I know we made one because that was a quest, I do believe. Uh, and that is in... Zeta? No, Epsilon. Yeah, we've made the combiner, so... We just might not have placed it. So let's, let's take a look for it. Uh, combiner. Right there it is. Alright, so we can handle this. We can get the aluminum. And what I'm going to go ahead and kind of assume is that just put it right here that works so it's eight each and that should work just fine um but what i'm going to go ahead and assume is that this will not work so let's just pick that guy up and we'll go ahead and run him through this try to get two more um dust and then that will give us another another piece let's just put like half a stack of this in there and yeah now we have the tinker's construct that we can actually use to get uh the seeds because i didn't see that on the galactic craft so what we need to do what i'll need to do is just get a ton of this stuff and that's how we'll get all the ores. So we don't need lead anymore. We're done with lead. Um, now I do have a lot of aluminum. And if we want f three more blocks, that's 15 more ore, which is a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff. So we'll probably, I'll, what I'll probably end up doing is I'll go mine again. Um, this time I'll remember to take my dev null, which is in here, and uh, I'll just mine out as much as I can. So for the last thing, let's go ahead and look at the next ones and see what we're going to need. So osmium, silver, tin, alamite, and blizz. So osmium, seeds, um, silver, tin, alamite. Uh, silver seeds, tin seeds, alamite seeds, blizz seeds. All right, so silver seeds, again, we're going to need silver weed. Um, I will probably do all of these crop mutations off camera. Osmium needs nether osmium ore. Okay, how much osmium ore do we have? We have 18. That's almost enough. Almost. So I need to go get a little bit more osmium ore from the nether. And osmonium seeds. Okay. Uh, tin. Again, so we're going to need silver and tin. Uh, there's tin. I know I saw silver before. All right. Alamite. We need four blocks of alamite, which is doable. Uh, it's aluminum iron and obsidian 
um, but it's a weird ratio. It's I want to say it's like five to two to two or something like that. So what I'm gonna do is just grab a bunch of aluminum, not as much iron and not as much obsidian and we're just gonna make a bunch of it so uh let's throw in let's see there was nine as let's just grab all this let's throw in 16 of each of these and a stack of aluminum and turn that off so that should melt down everything and what we can do hopefully, hopefully there's enough room in there um, to actually take out a little bit more and do it a little bit more uh, controlled but I will just work on getting as much of that stuff as I can and the bliss seeds we're gonna need bliss rods so that's the only other thing do we have any bliss rods we have two, so I'll need to go find some more blizzes and kill them as well. So, honestly, that's that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, blizzes, I believe, will be coming up soon, so we might wait on that anyways. Um, but yeah, so I think that's going to be a good enough stopping point. I'm going to get all of the extra seeds that I need, um, work on getting the rockets, um, getting, the rest, getting the supplies for the tier 6 rocket, uh, which is going to be setting up the next one and then go from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!